beggars can be choosers, but beggars never quit, height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Bit of a Grump, titled 65 Inch TV. Of course it's free for your crotch goblin. Is your 65 inch still for sale? Hi, yes it is. Would you be willing to deliver to West Side? I have a kid and I'm pregnant, so I need it upstairs, but I don't have any help here. Can you give it for free? My kid broke my living room TV. No, ma'am. Have a good night. Having kids doesn't open the door to get special treatment. I mean, it's been said time and time again, but I feel it needs to be said again. This next one is by FBlake91, titled, I teach his son how to play guitar. He wants a free lesson for no reason, then blocks me. Hey beggar, your wife hasn't cash apped me yet for Thursday yet. No rush, just checking in. Right, so I was gonna ask you for a discount on last lesson. Blank didn't learn anything. Sorry to hear that. Is he practicing what I've been teaching in between lessons? He seems to be doing fine, besides, he's only been playing a few weeks. Again, I'm sorry, but I can't give you a discount because you don't think he's learning fast enough. I could give him an hour next time for the same price as 30 minutes if you'd like. My rates are very cheap already. Nah, we will find a better teacher. We won't be paying you. Good luck, but you absolutely need to pay me for the last lesson. This is my job. No, I'm blocking you. So you're not only just a choosing beggar, but you're also a thief? That's good to know, and hopefully they'll forward this to the right people. This next one is by Online Puddle, titled, This dude literally asked PlayStation if he could get a free PS5 because he has a lot of followers. <laughs> I've got a couple million social media followers. Give me a free PS5 and I promise I'll tell everyone it's ace. I don't think they're going to give you a free PS5. I think what's going to happen is you're going to have to buy a PS5 like everybody else. This next one is by Wittenberg, titled, Does this mean I'm a real artist now? <laughs> nice to meet you. Can you do my next? His name is Einard Butterbread. He would love a painting. I don't do requests. Sorry. Well, you can start today. For everything, there is a first. Plus, Einard Buttered Bread. Come on, you can paint a character with such a name. You just can't decline. If there's a first time for everything, then maybe you can use today to learn how to take no for an answer. Wow, sheesh, and here I was being all excited over how cool your painting was. But hey, treating people as harshly as this is a sure way to get fans. Really, keep at it. Especially in real life to people who are bigger than you. See how long that attitude keeps you in one piece. Maybe try finding somebody who's actually taking commissions and pay them rather than harassing random people for free art. I'm not here to make fans. I'm not gonna bend over and suck your dick. Go bother someone else. <laughs> no, as if I'd pay you for such a drawing. You're not that good yet, buddy. Try again in 10 years or so. Keep practicing in the meanwhile and you'll get there. I don't think you understand. I wouldn't draw butter dick even if you paid. I don't deal with assholes. Go draw your own shit. I don't think you understand. I would never pay for the amateuristic scribbles you call art. How dare you call yourself an artist? You're a hobbyist at best. Go eat your own shit, you rude dick. I'd like to thank you for being my first choosing beggar. <laughs> I got excited, sure. A fun little drawing of my character. The idea was exciting. If only I'd known what a dick you were going to be about it. Your scribbles aren't worth money. It's funny how you think they are. Why are you still bothering me then? Go find somebody worth paying, you weirdo. Your mom sucked me off real good last night. She ain't even worth paying. Fuck you and fuck your rude attitude. <laughs> Keep talking, my guy. My friends are rolling at this. As if you have friends with that attitude of yours. God, I hope you're trolling, or like 12. There's no way a grown man would act like this. Sadly, yes, there's plenty of grown men that would act like that. Whether they're choosing beggars, nice guys, or neckbeards. This next one is by Pac-Man Man, titled, Anyone looking to pay me and my two friends to live in their house for a few months? 
One of us knows veterinary medicine, and we also have a decade of painting experience. How sitting position wanted! We are two to three professional individuals that are seeking to house it during the fall, winter, and early spring months, October, November, through April, with flexibility. Our current home is uninhabitable in the cold months, so we are looking to house sit for vacant cottages or homes during this time. We are capable of basic handyman maintenance tasks and even house painting. We have 10 years of residential interior exterior painting experience. Our background, we currently live in West Harwich in a cottage on our grandmother's property. We are helping to maintain her home. We have backgrounds in engineering, veterinary medicine, and PhD biology research. We would like to remain relatively nearby in case of emergency with our grandmother, but will consider any house sitting opportunity, so please feel free to inquire. Almost feel like it sounds like these people are trying to abandon their grandmother. Uh, they have no problem leaving her behind so they can go house sit somewhere I guess that's warmer, better, more comfortable during the winter? <laughs> I don't know. This next one is by Budgie Jen, titled, Not a Fan. In search of dresser for my daughter, a full-size couch and a queen mattress broke a bone in my back and my mattress has become very uncomfortable. And if it's not too much to ask for, a bed set for a queen bed. Sends pick. Not to sound like a picky a-hole, but not a fan of leather. The pure definition of a choosing beggar. They asked for a couch, they were being offered a couch, but because it's leather, nope, don't want it. This next one is by Emotional Tomboy titled, Sell me your rare produce for dirt cheap and deliver them to me for free every month. Seeking farmers of Okinawan sweet potatoes. I would like to buy 12 pounds of Okinawan sweet potatoes from a supplier who is willing to sell for less than $2 a pound and deliver to Bradenton for free. Every month the order will take place. If interested, PM me. Now, I'll admit, I'm not a potato aficionado, so I don't know what the differences of potatoes are, but wow, I didn't know there were purple potatoes. This next one is by Pie Baldism, titled, Choosing Beggar Gets Upset That an Artist Charges for Custom Work While Giving Away Free Pre-Made Sketches in a Buy-Nothing Group. Alert! OP is a fucking scammer. He said these arts are free, but when I asked him to do a custom artwork, he was going to charge me $25 for a fucking sketch. This is a buy nothing group. I don't think he should be advertising here. Dude, these sketches are free. If you asked me for custom work, of course I'm going to charge you. Leave it to a beggar to assume that they can get more than what's really being offered for free. <laughs> Guess they didn't get anything. This next one is by MAJ Rager, titled, My Absolutely Worthless Old Generation Xbox. Do you still have the Xbox X? I do. I'll give you 150 for it. <laughs> I bet you will. Only because the 4K monitor, headset, and elite controller. Unbelievable. Monitor, headset, and controller aren't included. That's an additional $900. I'm not paying $300 for an old generation system, homie. Then don't buy it. I'll give you $75 just for the Xbox and two controllers. I can find they for that price all day. You should buy all you can find for that price. You're pussy. K. Leave it to the beggars to always play the I can get it elsewhere card and then throw insults because they don't get their way. Clearly, they don't have good social skills. And our final post today is by Dumbwater182 titled, Riot Fest's header made me laugh. They've been around the block a few times. Celebrating 16 years of not booking the exact bands you wanted in the exact order you wanted in the exact location you wanted for free. Oh yeah, they've definitely had a lot of choosing beggars and I don't see why they wouldn't considering they seem like a pretty good size event and we know any kind of event always brings the beggars of some kind. All right, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked any of the posts, the links are down in the description below. Head on over to Reddit and show the OP some love. 
If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.